Brought to you by Eco Alkalines, environmentally responsible batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. Another thing that we have is, is the baldnerd.com blog. And, and one of the things that we've been trying to focus on with that, I've been trying to focus on, is, is giving you some good information with regards to security and, and keeping yourself safe. Um, and this week, I had an interesting revelation, and, and I posted it to baldnerd.com. You can go there and read the whole thing. But we were, we were pricing out some hard drives. Uh, a user, uh, a customer wanted to get an external hard drive mm-hmm. for their DVR or whatever it was. Right. So we started looking at the different specs because these DVR systems are pretty sp- specific about what type of hard drive you can use. And I started to see that some of these hard drives have a built-in encryption chip. Okay. So what does that mean? When you copy data to it, it encrypts it before it puts it on the drive. Oh, okay. And then as you're copying data off of it, it decrypts it. So it's a safety It's a feature. security kind of thing, right? Okay. Because your stuff is now encrypted with 256-bit AES. So I got to thinking about that, and I thought, okay, so you've got this hard drive, it's external, you copy all your personal data to it, mm-hmm. it you, you feel like you're safe because now it's encrypted, it's on this drive. Right. But yet you plug that into another computer, and because it, again, is going through the decryption chip that's built into the external chassis, there's no protection. Sure, so it's, it's encrypted just, on the drive. It's just kind of doing it for... It's like for a false sense of security. Kicks and giggles then, yeah. pretty much? It gives you a false sense of security, thinking okay. that the stuff on my drive is uh, is encrypted, because the chip that encrypts it also decrypts it when you're you know using the USB or mm-hmm. SATA ESATA connector. So what's you know I've got to thinking that made me think of a couple different things. Scenario is somebody breaks into your place, mm-hmm. grabs your laptop computer and your and your external hard drive. Are they going to sit down and meticulously unscrew the chassis from the external hard drive, take it apart, take out the internal hard drive, Mm -hmm. and leave the chassis, which contains the unencryption chip? Are they going to leave that behind? They're not. It's dedication. They're just going to take the whole thing, right? So they're walking away with the encrypted data, but they also have the decryption Mm -hmm. chip. So they're able to read that data anyways, and it did nothing for you. So then I thought, okay, well, what on earth does it really do? When would the encryption chip actually have an impact? When would right. it make a difference? And it is when that drive gets taken out of the chassis, right? Okay. When is that going to happen? Yeah, how often do you do that? Power surge ah. happens, right? So your drive gets zapped, your, your drive is no longer working, and what do you do? You send it away to a data recovery lab. Right. And you say, okay, I need my data. It's got all my family pictures and everything on this drive. What do they say? The drive's encrypted. We need to get a decryption chip in order to do this. They have to find a compatible chip, if it's even available. A lot of times it's not, because remember, it's a security feature, right? If they can find a decryption chip, it's going to possibly double the cost of your data recovery. It's probably not even going to be possible, and it's going to take a lot longer. So if you have critical data on there, even if they're able to get your stuff off and decrypt it, Guaranteed expedited service is not going to be available. I actually uh, had a chat with uh, with Phil Priest, and he is a uh, data recovery technician uh, at uh, it's PES Data Recovery dot com. I'll put, uh, put a link in the show notes for episode number two eighty two. But he he did make the comment that unless you have that decryption chip, you can't get the data off. So the <laughs> one time that you really want to be able to get your data you off can't. of that drive, you can't. <laughs> the data recovery technicians Jeez. can say, okay, we can't do it because the data is is garbled because mm-hmm. the chip got fried in the power surge. So they call up the manufacturer and they say, do you have a compatible chip with this serial number? And they'll say yes or no. If it's available, bumps up the price of your recovery, takes a lot longer. If it's not available, your data has gone forever. So got me to hmm. thinking. Well, it sounds cool. Anyways, like if you're reading it on the box, you go, oh, what a handy feature. And then you watch a show and you realize how not handy it is. And you realize that that is truly a false sense of security with those automatically encrypted hard drives. So give my blog a read. It's baldnerd.com if you're interested in learning about these kinds of things. Uh, And certainly, you know, just uh, I would welcome your comments directly on the blog as well. Uh, But doesn't that make you think, eh? Yeah. And you don't realize. Really? You see something on the shelf. It's encrypted. Oh, it's safe. I know. It's just one of those extra line of features. You're like, oh, this one has one more feature than that one. 
Let's and get it. it sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.